I think that's a great question. You know, the, the infinite banking concept is so counterintuitive. It is, it's just counterintuitive. And it's almost the exact opposite, 180 degrees of what the financial world tells us to do with money. And so it takes a little bit of an imagination to even think outside the box. Um, you know, Nelson says that this is an exercise in imagination, reason, logic, and prophecy. And I, I know for me, the first time I heard him say that in a 10 hour seminar, man, I accepted the prophecy, number one. Uh, no question. And I have since come to believe and understand clearly that imagination is much more important than knowledge. Mm -hmm. Much more. I think it's in very important. Yeah. When I when I consider the and what we're going to talk about throughout the course of the book, and we're going to get into an example here shortly, and then see actual more um, direct examples using dividend paying whole life insurance. But you know. You have to imagine the banking system. You have to imagine the flow of money beyond just your own self. And it's it's not something you see. You know, I've heard you say before that you know cash is flowing through you, around you all the time. And uh, it's true, but we just it's not something that we see directly. Uh, you do have to imagine it. And Nelson ends that section talking about how you know legislators once tried to change the definition of pi. The numerical that, that doesn't end, the you know, decimal point on and on forever, um, and of course it's ridiculous. You know that you you can't just legislate a change in a number like that. And his point, I think, was to illustrate that there are certain fixed relationships out in the world that uh, you have to imagine in order to understand. And the what what might be valuable for why you might do that is so that you can understand how to organize your behavior in accordance with the rest of the world. Um, but it's not, you know, again, going back, it's not always something you can see directly. You do have to imagine it. Uh, the, we are dealing with fixed relationships between with the nature of money, the nature of banking. And if you can imagine it, then you can hopefully, as we'll get into, uh, control it and, and prosper accordingly. Oh, yeah. You know, that reminds me, whatsoever a man believeth in his heart, so is he. And mm -hmm. I think it was Napoleon Hill that said, whatever the mind of man can conceive and believe, it can achieve. Yeah. You know, imagination is very important. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like. And if you wanna see more videos like this, you can subscribe to the channel. If you wanna learn more about infinite banking, you can watch this video next or visit our website at bankingwithlife.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.